Michael and Carol, according to police, Jenny Byrne and her husband Len were crossing the street right here when that pickup truck slammed into Mrs. Byrne. The driver of the truck was charged with DUI. A family friend sharing this photo of 79-year-old Jenny Byrne, the woman struck by a vehicle in a crosswalk Friday who later died from her injuries. Annette Donahue was Jenny Byrne's best friend. I think it was really a waste. I mean, it's, you know, one bad person's choice destroyed not only a good person, but many, many people. Police say this man, David Lee of Central, was driving the pickup truck. He was charged with DUI, though police say he refused a breathalyzer. Today, Greenville detectives canvassed downtown businesses in search of surveillance video that they say could help the case. Our investigators right now are trying to pull any city-owned video or any video that businesses may have so they can get their questions answered, not only how something happened, but maybe why it happened as well. A question family and friends of Ginny Byrne have been asking since Friday when tragedy struck. Now, we have just learned the funeral arrangements for Mrs. Byrne. A Thomas McAfee in downtown Greenville will host a visitation Wednesday night from 6.30 until 8 o'clock. Her actual funeral will be held Thursday morning at 10 a.m. at St. Mary Magdalene Catholic Church in Simpsonville. Her burial will follow at Graceland East Memorial Park. Now, Burns' husband, uh, or, yeah, Burns' husband, Len Burns, is on a committee uh, that is setting up this weekend St. Patrick's Day Parade in downtown Greenville. I spoke to him about an hour ago. He says that parade will go on as planned. Tim Waller, WIFF News 4, live in downtown Greenville.